I've never made scrambled eggs. I've never made any kind of egg. Um, I never cook by choice. <laughs> I can definitely scramble eggs. I say that now. Uh, I just started eating eggs a year ago. Eggs, the one thing I know how to crack. Oh, crap. No. You know what I forgot to do? Scramble them! I don't know what this is called. You break the yolk, yolk, yolk. Maybe I'll do a little salt. Yeah, salty. Whoa. Where's butter and stuff? Do I need butter and stuff? I like to get it heated up so by the time you pour it on, there's a nice little sizzle happening. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like my boyfriend's gonna see this and he's gonna be so embarrassed. Scramble eggs coming up. Crack that bad boy. There's like not even a number for the amount of times that I've made eggs. Stirring the eggs. You gotta salt these or else they taste like my mom's eggs and they're disgusting. Uh, uh. I just have to turn this bad boy on. Put a little butter in my pan. That carries flavor. I know that they're ready to hit the pan when they're all incorporated. Looking good. Cool. Like I'm looking for them to not look too dry, but also not look like, like queso. I like when it's not too cooked. They're more like fried eggs that are, <laughs> that are um, crumbled, but Smells good. It's a pretty simple task, but there are ways to improve the quality of your scrambled eggs. So the first thing we're gonna do here is break the eggs, always on a flat surface. Now a whisk would be fine here, a fork is fine as well. I know these are ready when, uh, basically when I stop stirring, if I don't see any lumps or clumps of either egg white or egg yolk. The next thing I wanna do is make sure that I season my eggs before they go into the pan. So when we're scrambling eggs, the really important thing is that you just have some type of fat in the pan. So I want to swirl this around to keep it from burning and getting a nice, get a nice even coating. So my eggs go in. If you hear a loud sizzle when you add eggs to the pan uh, for scrambled eggs, your pan is absolutely too hot. And my cooking time here is extremely short. I'm actually going to turn the burner off right before they're ready and just use the residual heat of the pan. I want these eggs um, basically what I would call custardy, which means that they're not fully set. There's a bit of slightly runny egg mixed in in between. And that's really what we're looking for for a proper scrambled egg. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my eggs. Ever, never, never.